Welcome back to the welcome back to the channel. Welcome. Welcome to this episode of sh stuff. Welcome to the video. We're doing stuff. Welcome back to the video. What we're doing today, right? We got Blake's Millennium Jade S13 in with the SR20. So, as you can see, we've ripped the G3660 off because it was just too small. You wouldn't believe it. Keep it going, though. Daniel said I was being too monotone, so now we've kicked up the energy level slightly. And so, the plan for today is I have taken off the G3660, thrown it in the bin, not literally because it's still a good turbo. Uh, and Blake has picked up behind you George there on the table he's picked up a G3900 so we are putting that turbo on this little SR and then we are going to send it to the moon after we're going to modify the intercooler piping to suit the dump pipe should still fit up because it's the same frame sized uh, core and then we will send it all off get it powder coated put it all together get it tuned and then see what it'll make uh, I think, I'm not really sh it went 560 on the little turbo, but the turbo was out of puff, so I think Blake probably, I think we're looking for like 650-ish. Sure, that's that's down. my plan, that's what I'm currently working on, so... And uh, we're going to put a little cheeky um, provision for something in this other intake pipe for future shenanigans, just while we're going. True. True God. Yeah, a little... We're gonna add a little tss in here. You won't even see it, won't even know it, won't even catch ya. Give us a G note. No. Uh, yeah. Is that a G? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. So. Anyway, I'll just come around here to pretty much just yeah, yeah, make sure that he didn't miss anything over here when he was talking about it. So. <laughs> Alright, cool. SR20. See you around. Daniel's making engine mounts for the LS. Oh, you wanna see him? To go into the VL. You wanna see him? Come on. I'll show ya. A little bit excited, you know? Put a bit of pep in your step. Look at my engine mounts that I got here. They're yeah, quite better. swimming. Yeah. So I made a little hut. It's like a little shed, a little picnic area. So you sit down under here, stays out of the weather. Stop it, George. We've got Mickey over here welding up the passenger side engine mount. Obviously I'm a bit steadier because um, I'm working on it still. So we've got these custom made engine mounts for the LS going into the VL. We made up a gearbox cross member yesterday for it, Mickey did. Um, turned out sweet, we will show you soon enough. And now I'm just cutting and shutting some stuff over here so we can then gusset our engine mounts to make sure they're capable of hanging on to a bit of power later on down the track, I'd say. A bit of juice running through. So, yeah. Got a welder up, George, because he's gonna do a bit here. Stay there looking busy, I'll do a bit over here. Did you just hear that everyone? Just let me know so they can hear all my welding and stuff, George. You know, I'm pretty quiet under the helmet, so I figured I'd make sure just bring them along, you know? Oi, he's mowing your grass. That bloke's cutting your grass. Look, oi, oi, oi. No, he's not. He is. He's whippersnipping the Sorry. edges of his... Your grass. Of his You're going to let him get away with that? Of his... Are is you going to let him get away is with that? that buffalo cush? And that there, my friends, is a custom engine mount. Best believe it. Wouldn't get it anywhere else other than here. The ting, 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 ting. Are you alright? Are you alright? Well, I'm I left, know I'm left-handed, actually. I didn't ask if you were left For everyone out there that doesn't know, I'm left-handed. Anyway, I'm going to go do a bit while he's doing a bit, and then I'll catch up with this. <laughs> That's not going well. Then we're going to test fit the dump pipe, George. To make sure it fits, George. And then after that, George, we're gonna do something else. George. Life. If you see these dogs in your front yard, no upstairs, I'm going hard. Yeah, frick yeah. Fits, fits good, that does. 
Should I put that on there? I feel like I should. One, two, three, second. So George, I mean everyone watching. George and everyone watching. A new turbo here, Hammers decided to upgrade turbo size on his S13, the Millennium Jade S13. So what we've done, obviously, um, changing over to all plasma and clamps. So we've got Graham up, our lathe mate up the top to lathe off some um, new V-band flanges to now weld onto the face of the turbo. I'm about to weld that one up and then yesterday, Mickey and I did a bit on the VL. We got the engine mounts done up for it, so it's all mounted in position. Um, the LS, they're pretty hecked off, say. <laughs> they're quite one-off, very unique engine mounts, I would say, George, and everyone watching. Did a little bit in the VL, George, in the boot, and everyone watching. So we had to cut the supports from where the boot uh, boot hinges latch down to the wheel arch, because we tubbed it. We had to make the new, new supports for the boot hinges to swing off, so just tack them in the car. We ran into some issues fitting the LS in the VL because of the power steering and how bulky it is. We were initially just going to remount it, move it across and remount it, but we decided to get a true manual rack out of another VL, which I think we're going to put in, and it's just better clearance, more room. Power steering. No one wants powers and their steering. And then we're going to drop this cross member out of George. I'm going to swing this motor out of the VL for at least the 37th time this week. Not counting. And weld up these engine mounts that are tacked into the cross member. We did actually cut the original mounts off the front cross member and moved them back. So our engine mounts weren't so skew if heading in a different direction. I would say it'd nearly be on a 47 and a half degree angle, everyone watching. Um, and yeah. It's a great way to stay in shape. Red, orange, green. Chestnut? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Sorry, cut it out. There's people watching. And everyone at home. In front of us, in front of me, not in front of you, technically in front of you, in front of George, in front of myself, uh, we have our little speed flow hall. That's probably going to make a lot of noise if I do that, isn't it? Yeah. I should <laughs> stop doing that. We have most of the fittings that we're going to need to... What? Whoa. <laughs> George and everyone watching, right? Like, we've got a lot of speed flow. Sorry. I got a lot of hose. Pull up in the Sri Lanka. We're cracking on with Stewie's red car. So last week went through and tried to build a car in my brain and figure out all the fittings that I was going to need and where they're all going to run without actually running any of them. And it's, it's pretty not fun. We're going to start with the dry sump. The reasoning behind that, the dry sump lines, the feed and return for the dry sump are dash 16. So that's a very large fitting and the hose that goes with that is quite stiff and not very manoeuvrable. So basically we're going to run this as best we can first because it's the least likely to be able to reroute essentially. So we're going to run this first and by we I mean me, I'm going to run this, you guys are going to watch and then from there, I'm going to move on to the next size down, which is going to be dash 12, and that's going to be the fuel lines for the... Shut up, Daniel! It's going to be... I could just see you talking. You were, you were dancing. You were, you were dancing. It was hot. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> dash 16, we're going to go down to dash 12 and because that's the next size down and that's going to be the fuel lines. And then I'm basically just going to work my way down from there until it's done. So we're plumbing it up. So we got dry sump, dry sump, fuel lines, uh, oil cooler, trance cooler, uh, puke tank lines, and then that's all under the car. And when I've got all of the undercar stuff done, we're going to go into the engine bay and we're going to do all the engine bay stuff. So for now, I'm going to get this fitting on here, which I was doing before George rudely interrupted me and said, do you want to talk about the things you're doing? And I said, George, is fun. And I puke brain. So then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to run the line just temporarily to the front of the car. And then I'm going to terminate it, run the second line, figure out where I'm going to run them and then work from there. So basically these big boys are going to be the, the foundation of the plumbing. Have you done? No, I was right here. Okay. I didn't no, make you it. Look at, you know, bro. The man you've done and I've stood next to you while you've spoken about it, right? Not once have I complained about it. And now all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you, just you said, don't even want to stand next you to me. You just asked me to talk about it and I said oh, I didn't make it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying you talk okay, about we'll it. Talk I haven't about it. Stop about talking it. about talking about it. Talk about it. So we got the G3900 on, in the car. And Daniel's just finished. What he just finished? I just finished up the intercooler piping to suit the new turbo, made a new intake, new little pod filter, all plasma and clamps as usual. Usual, usual, usable. Basically getting the exact same as the old turbo was. So we're going black, black, Cerakote, the rear housing, and then re powder coat the intercooler pipes that we modified, then just modified. And then once that's back, we'll put it all back together and then it'll, it'll get changed. So. Yeah, next time you see this, we'll hopefully, probably, it'll probably be on a diner. Pushing sixes. Maybe. Up in the sixes. That's it. That's it. That's all we're doing. That's, that's all we're doing. It's the end of the week. That's it. That's what it, Josh. Anyway, we're about to sign off. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you. Over. Hey, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Daniel and Sam now signing off. Yeah. Um, Bye, George. And, and everyone. everyone else. Hooroo.